The latest toy I've gotten from Solid Signal is this little USB charge tester. You may ask yourself, why do you need something like this? Well, first of all, because it's cool and it's fun. And why not have something that's cool and fun? It works very easily. You plug this end into the charger, you plug the cable into this end. It basically just goes between a charge cable and the charger itself. And it tells you how much current is being drawn through the system. Now, you might ask yourself, why do I care about something like this? Well, probably just like me, you've got something like this. You got a box of USB chargers and you don't know what they're good for. You don't know what works with them. And yes, if you look really closely, they've got somewhere in little tiny letters how much current they're supposed to put out, but that doesn't necessarily tell you a whole lot. I tested this device to see exactly what it could do. I took your garden variety iPad and I tried it with three different chargers. First thing I did was I took this plain old Apple branded USB cube, which it says it puts out five volts at one amp. I plugged it into the iPad and it came pretty close, five volts at one amp. And the iPad charged. It will charge very, very slowly at that setting. And you really can't use it at all because it will use up more power than you put into it when you're using a one amp charger. Apple doesn't recommend it. The second thing that I tried was this is an Apple branded iPad charger and it puts out five volts at 2.1 amps. And again, as you can see, works pretty well, does exactly what it says to do, and the iPad is charging as it's supposed to. All's good. Now, this, this is kind of a generic USB charger. I don't know when I got it. Uh, on a little fine print, it says it puts out five volts at one amp, but I tested it and it doesn't. It puts out five volts at half an amp, and that's not enough to charge an iPad, not even slowly. And the iPad will tell you so. It says it's not charging. And so if you're looking to travel and you want to know which chargers to take with you, well, this is a great way to test all of them just to know which ones you should keep, which ones you should pack, and what's going to actually charge your devices the fastest. Because when you're traveling, you don't want to wait. It's also a great device for figuring out how much current is being used all the time. You know, most modern devices, they're supposed to stop drawing amps when they're fully charged. It saves you energy and honestly it's better for the device that way. But you can use this to see if it's still drawing current. In other words, if the amp number is greater than zero when it's fully charged, that's kind of a zombie device. That's sucking power from you even when it's not doing anything. It's not worth keeping it plugged in. So this little device, you know, it's got plenty of uses. It does what it says it's going to do. And the best part of all of it is it's not super expensive. You can get one at Solid Signal pretty cheap. I'll put a link right up here so you can take a look at it. Get one now. Get another one for a gift because it really is kind of a neat little thing to have.